Browns wide receiver Greg Little. Hi, Greg. How you doing? I'm doing well, man. Thanks for having me on. Well, thanks for joining us. Tell us a little bit about your youth football camp. Uh, we'll start things off with uh, two camp locations, east side, west side. You're hitting all around the town, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I think it was good to have them uh, in multi-locations and so it, could, it, it better fit, um, you know, commuters. And uh, I think it's, it's, it's going to be really good, man, to, to get out there and help the kids and um, just put a smile on their face, you know? We're pumping this up for you as, as we're speaking. We're showing this um, on a wide screen so the viewers can take down the information, Greg. Obviously, uh, uh, as you can see, uh, you can register by Friday the 13th and save yourselves a $25 discount. Space is limited. Uh, register now. Uh, also, uh, giving away one tuition to the Greg Little Camp of their choice. So for details, go to that website that we're showing you at the bottom of the screen and uh, camp details is a great uh, opportunity for um, the youth ages 7 through 16 you're divided into age groups teaching the fundamental skills and uh, of course uh, a couple of the high school coaches are going to be helping you too Greg I see Mike Bell from Lake Catholic and Tony Schumann from Padua High are going to contribute as well with you yeah uh, it, it's really fun to, to uh, have those guys uh, on board and uh, they know the lay of the land, and it'll give them a good look at the kids uh, that potentially could could uh, come into their to their programs, and um, hopefully to have some some Browns players come through and and some former teammates from Carolina as well. So, give us your observations. What did you learn? What were your uh, observations of your first year in the pros? Uh, it was it was a good year, man. It, it was a good learning curve as, as well for me. Um, I, I got to play a lot and. Um, and, and that left some good film for me to critique myself and um, and, and just to work on this off season and, and to be in a better uh, complete football player. A lot of us thought you should have played more, but uh, that's up to the coaching staff, so we won't second-guess them on that. But certainly you're the type of receiver that uh, can do a lot of damage after you secure possession. You're a tough guy to bring down. Uh, yeah, and that's that's one of the kind of things that I pride myself on, and and um, and and definitely on off the field is, is where you know a lot of that comes in, and with a lot of preparation in the weight room, and um, and I think that's that's really where you know that has, has taken off. Did you change your weight conditioning program dramatically from what you did at North Carolina? Uh, not dramatically, but uh, I have. I uh, lost about 10 pounds um, uh, this off season compared to what I played at, at last year. And I think that's going to, you know, make me, a, you know, a more elusive player and, and more explosive. And, and I think, you know, that is where, you know, I really think my game is, is going to, you know, take off. You think you, it gives you a, maybe um, a half-step edge? Yeah, yeah. And, and definitely just more quicker in and out of my, my, my breaks uh, on my routes and, um, but still want to maintain, you know, that physicality of my game as well. Uh, certainly in the pros, we keep hearing the difference is the speed. Give us your observations of the defenses in the pros compared to college. Well, it's not really necessarily guys running faster than uh, they were in college. It's them playing a lot faster. Um, you know, a lot of times you're playing guys that have been in the league five, you know, eight years, you know, to – you know, legends during Ray Lewis playing 16 years, they've seen it all. They've seen everything that, you know, possibly could could be thrown at them. So that's allowing them to play and diagnose plays a lot faster than, you know, a, a college kid is coming out of high school. Your, uh, your thoughts on Colt McCoy, your quarterback from a season ago. He's a constant yeah. topic of conversation, Greg. I'm sure you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and that's you know, a quarterback and a head coach is just kind of going to be the um, – who's the finger is pointed at oftentimes. But, you know, I think, you know, with me having a year under my belt and Colt having a year under his belt, I think uh, – and everybody else uh, having a year uh, within Pat's system uh, is, is going to be a lot better. I think, um, you know, the players around Colt are, are going to be a lot better as well. So, you know, we'll be able to assist him, you know, much more.
Also, the uh, uh, lockout didn't help with the Browns, especially with a new coaching staff, a whole new offensive system. That that couldn't uh, that that didn't help. No, I mean, and I think this is is a good year because you know we're going to get all of our all season training in. Um, you know, we're going to have the mini camps, uh, the training camps. So it, it's going to be really good to see, you know, and, and really exciting. Uh, to see, you know, how, how well we progressed from, from last year. Have you had a chance yet to meet Brad Childress? Uh, I have not. I, I met uh, I met Brad uh, in training camp last year. He was working for a, um, you know, a, a radio show that came to training camp, and he's very, um, you know, familiar with the offense, with him and Pat both being in, in Philadelphia, and they had some great success with, uh, Donovan and all those guys, and I think you know that you'll really see that you know kind of transparent here. Have you been following everything, all the rumors? You know, you, you lost a couple of teammates, obviously, and and Hillis. Um, we may get Steinbach back. Uh, I, I don't know, but Tony Pasho's the right tackles. Do you keep up on everything and all the draft rumors that are constantly going on from day to day? Well, I know new teammates that that come in and I know you know the ones that we've kind of lost but other than that <laughs> I don't know too much more you know you're better off it would drive you crazy uh, I'm sure it's just probably something new every hour so um, <laughs> in, uh, I think in the, know, case, in the case kind of more concrete in the case of our show it's every caller from caller to caller uh, Greg so uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're better off well listen um, again the Greg a little youth football camps this coming summer East side is going to be July 9th through the 11th at Notre Dame College in South Euclid the West side camp will be July 18th through the 18 16th through the 18th at Padua High School in Parma Heights you're looking at the information to take it down, especially that website at the bottom of your screen and also that telephone number. Greg, thanks for joining us, and um, you know we're all behind you. We look forward to a very successful second season for you personally, and go Browns! Thanks, man. Appreciate that for having me, and definitely uh, go Browns, and, and thanks for all the, the uh, you know, the participants that's going to come out to the camps and, and definitely all the fans that show up uh, every Sunday. All right. Greg Little.